All right, everybody, today we're gonna to go over the wild and crazy story that was the journey to acquire my wife's latest Mopar 22 Durango. Now, this story, of course, it starts back in June of 2021 when we got the allocation for a dock slip here at home. And of course, that meant we needed to buy a boat. Well, then we needed to have a tow rig for that boat and so we wanted to get a Durango. Now, originally I was planning on buying a used Durango because I didn't want to spend a crazy amount of money on an SUV, but of course, being at the height of the pandemic, prices on used Durangos was more than a new one. And so fast forward up to November of 2021, we were at the SEMA show where they unveiled the Mopar 22 Durango. And I was talking to a friend of mine uh, at Mopar and we were talking about the Durango and how awesome that package was and he asked me if I'd be interested in having one and I was like absolutely we've been thinking about getting a Durango let's go ahead and get a Mopar one and so it's like all right great we'll get you an allocation set up so for those of you out there who are saying that these were not able to be ordered well for the most part you're right but at the same time how do you explain my name on the Monroney but I digress so let's fast forward so March of 2022 we go ahead and place the original order for the Mopar 22 Durango. Now at that point in time, the estimated delivery was third quarter of 2022. Well, throughout the course of the year now we're waiting and then they had to do an update on the order in June, July timeframe uh, because when we did the March order, it was old school paper ordering and there were only certain options we could check. So we processed that. Fast forward into the summertime, they go through, they open up into the computer system, we get the order placed, we get the original paper order attached to the electronic order, and that's how we go ahead and move forward into the next phase. So then we're now waiting for production. And at this point, we're still thinking it's gonna be third quarter, but it turned out they ran into some delays on some production issues. And so it didn't get started production until early October. Now, of course, we've been waiting patiently this whole time for it. And we didn't really need to have the Durango right away because uh, we, with having the dock slip for the boat, we just put the boat in the beginning of the season, take it out at the end of the season. And so we had enough friends around that have uh, trucks that were able to take care of that for us. So then of course, Production started in early October with an estimated delivery of Black Friday. So we were, of course, very excited about that. And we go through, we get to SEMA 2022, and I get notification that it has finished production. So of course, we're really excited at that point. We're expecting delivery on Black Friday. And well, things then went off the rails a little bit. So the Durango goes into a transportation yard and is sitting there and the Dodd Tracker is saying it's gonna be delivered on Black Friday. So we're, of course, we're watching it like a hawk, waiting for it to get delivered. And we're noticing that it's not shipping. But how's it gonna hit the delivery date if it doesn't ship? Well, the delivery date comes and goes and then the Dodge Tracker up website updates to a TBD delivery. So of course, I'm talking to my friends at Chrysler and at Mopar trying to figure out what's going on and they're just having transportation backlogs. So the Durango ended up sitting in Detroit for two months after it was completed to be able to get sh transported and shipped out. Now, of course, I offered to fly out there and pick it up and do delivery in Detroit, but that, of course, wasn't an option. And so we just had to play the patient waiting game. And so January 1st, got notification, it finally shipped out. So then, of course, it takes about a week for it to ship down to Benicia, to that transport yard. So, of course, once we see that it ships out on January 1st, I'm talking to my friend Paul Normandin at Norman Chrysler, where the Durango's going to see what he knows about when his estimated delivery date is. And he is showing on his side that sometime between the 16th and the 30th of January is when we'll actually get the Durango. So like, perfect, that'll work. You know, it takes them a week or so to get it out here from Detroit and then take some time for them to go and move it through their lot system in Benicia and then they'll get put on a truck, sent down to the dealership. Not a problem. Well, of course we had all those heavy storms and that's where things cause some problems. It turns out, they lost the Durango. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. The car got delivered to Benicia to the transportation yard. Now, I gotta give it to the guys at Benicia for, in the transportation yard because they were anticipating flooding in the part of the lot where our Durango was parked. And so they had the foresight to go ahead and move it to another location to keep it safe and keep it from not being flooded. The problem was when they moved it, along with all the other cars that they moved out of there, they didn't mark down where they put them. And so they actually lost the Durango but then they ended up finding the Durango and they lost it again. So they lost the car twice. Once was bad enough, but twice they lost it. And so of course, my friend Paul, he's, I hats off to him. I really appreciate all the hard work that he did during out 
the entire ordering and delivery process of this Durango because it definitely wasn't trivial. And he's calling them, trying to find out what's going on, trying to figure out where it's going. And of course, I mean, we're willing to go up and pick it up, but since COVID, they're not allowing people to go and pick up their vehicles from there. Well, not well, allowing the dealers to go and pick up the vehicles. So we have to wait on their schedule. And so we finally, early February, they go ahead, they find it again, make sure everything's okay, load it up on a truck and send it down to the dealership. Now, it's a Friday morning that I get a text from Paul with pictures of the Durango. It's finally made it. It is in his hands. It is safe. We know it's in good shape. Now, the problem is, at this point, I get the text message, I am on my way up to Sonoma County for a friend's wedding that I'm officiating. And so I'm not gonna be able to go down and pick up the Durango. And so, which is fine because they need to go ahead and do their pre-delivery inspection, make sure everything's okay. And so we plan on Monday after I get back, we'll go down and pick up my wife's new Durango. Well then of course, later that day, I get a text from Paul, actually I get a phone call from Paul and they found a nail in one of the tires. So we can't pick it up on Monday because we gotta have a new tire shipped out and installed because they can't sell a new vehicle with a patched tire, which I totally get. And so luckily Tuesday morning, we get the phone call, the tire came in, the tire was installed, everything's ready to go. And so my wife and I hopped in the car with my dad and our daughter and drove down to Normandins and picked up the Mopar 22 Durango. So that's the crazy story. I mean, it was definitely not your normal delivery. I mean, the time it took to leave Detroit and get to California alone, that two months it was sitting in Detroit, was the same amount of time it took for our charger to have the order placed to delivery back in 2016. So I guess it's just a sign of the times, but it was well worth the wait, the 11 month journey to get this car. And my wife absolutely loves it. I love it. Huge thanks to everybody involved to getting us this Durango and getting it out here. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this vehicle, a lot of years, a lot of memories. And of course, we have some content for you guys as well. So let me know what you guys think, what you guys want to see for content with the Durango, because we got a lot of stuff to do with this thing over the next coming years. <music>